Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my review for the PlayStation 4. Next Gen is here people and I am here to give you my official review for the new Sony console, the PlayStation 4. I got the con I got the controller right here, baby. I played a good amount of it. It's been out for almost a month now. Actually, it's definitely it's been about three weeks so i've played around with it i got it uh the day after it came out i played a few games on it i messed around with the interface and i'm gonna give you my review right here and i'm going to also do a couple of live reviews for some of the uh launch games that came out like kill zone knack resogun maybe a couple others i'm not sure but uh, i have a lot of games review uh this month so i just want to kind of get them out of the way and the only way I can do that is if I just do a review kind of like this. It doesn't take as long and it's still informative so hey whatever. So the PlayStation 4 I messed around with for a little while and I gotta admit oh boy this I'm gonna tell you straight up this is a damn good console. Now games wise I'm not gonna talk about that but I'll just I'll just say this okay games I'm not completely impressed with right now. I, I, I'm, I'm moderately enjoying the games, definitely. But I'm not extremely impressed. Graphically, yes, but gameplay-wise, no. But, and lineup-wise. But right now, the system itself, the UI, the just the navigating through it, understanding where everything is, the installations, everything, just the way it's built, it is a clean, very easy to use system that I, I even think someone that isn't a big gamer can use. And that's funny because this is mainly a gamer console where the Xbox One is actually a little bit more, uh, a little, a little, not as easy to control, I would say. Um, but, you know. I'll talk about that when I talk about the Xbox One. But the PS4 is a damn good console. I'm going to tell you straight up. Graphically, it is superb. Like, I played Killzone. I played Knack. I played Resogun. Pretty much every game on there looks absolutely fantastic, especially Killzone. Killzone looks gorgeous, and it shows exactly what the PS4 can do. And that's right now. Remember, remember when the Xbox 360 and the PS4 came out? Those games compared to games that came out for the same systems, like even in 2010, 2011, 2012, do not compare graphically. So just imagine, right now, Killzone looks amazing, uh, other games look amazing on the system, but just imagine like five years how good games will look. Imagine the next Uncharted game, how good that's going to look. Hell, imagine Uncharted 5, you know, if that even happens. Imagine how good that's going to look just in the next few years. But really, the system is very well made. It truly is. The controller feels great, which I have to admit I'm very surprised about because I am not the biggest fan of the DualShock 3. I'm not. I just did not love it. But the DualShock 4, this little controller right here, I have pretty big hands for the most part, and it feels good. It really does. The triggers feel good when I'm playing a, a, a you know a shooter game like Killzone. Uh, the thumbsticks themselves aren't too loose, so I'm not like you know waving around my gun and stuff and not chewing anything. All the buttons feel great. Everything. The the touch screen control when it's implemented is very well done, like in Killzone. Uh, it's really cool. It's a really great controller. It is. So it's a fantastic controller, especially for stuff like shooting games, probably fighter games. I didn't play any, but you know, racing games would probably work good. It's just a great controller. So the DualShock 4 itself is a great controller. Uh, back to the PS4. The PS4 is a damn good system. The UI is great. It's very simple. It's laid out for you right in, in the beginning. It takes like five minutes to start up uh, from opening the box and hooking up your system. And right when you're in, you know exactly where to go. It tells you right now, you know, like game. Games, PlayStation Store, uh, video, music, uh, settings. It's blatant, it's blunt, it's just right there. And it's not confusing, it's not like everything's hidden or something. It's really, really easy to figure out what to do on your own. Um, now, what has not changed? Uh, I didn't do any of the video or music stuff. I did do Netflix, and that for the most part seems kind of similar. I'm not really sure. But what I did notice didn't really change... Uh, Design-wise, I'm pretty sure at least, was PlayStation Store. PlayStation Store pretty much looks exactly the same from PS3 and PS4, which I understand because PS3 is still alive and strong. It's not like they want to kill it off. So might as well make it look exactly the same as the PS3 one, you know. I mean, it, you don't need to make it look, like, even more futuristic. It looked good, you know, when 
it was on PS3. So th that, for the most part, hasn't changed. But for the, you know, the system itself, it's very easy uh, to figure out where to go. Uh, installation times are almost non-existent. When you put a disc in and you have to install like a 40 gig update or install like for Killzone, it doesn't take any time at all. For me, I was like, oh, great, here we go. I just want to play my PS... Oh, it's done. Oh, I'm playing? No way. There's, there's no way. And then five minutes later, I'm playing multiplayer in Killzone. And it really impressed me. Uh, what else do I really like? I really, really love the streaming capabilities. The ability to, to press this, which button? This little share button right here. And being able to either go online on Twitch or Ustream. Or go uh, and like share a clip or share a, a, a screenshot. That is unbelievable and it's so well done here especially when you just want to take a screenshot i've taken so many screenshots and oh actually i turned it on oops i was about to say i heard a click uh, i guess i turned it on oops um but uh like uh, what was i saying oh how unbelievably quick it is i have taken so many pictures just putting them on twitter and facebook i've done uh, a couple of streams now and even though the quality isn't HD it works very well the mic that came with the PlayStation 4 at first I thought it was a piece of crap but then I figured out how to use it and for the most part the audio quality and the sound quality is pretty good even though it's very uncomfortable it's pretty much like a, a headphone one headphone with a mic on it which is kind of annoying but um yeah it's not a headset which sucks but um the, the quality is good so you can hear me good on the streams for the most part, I think the PS4 is going to change gaming, especially for people that want to, you know, stream and show off their gameplay on YouTube and stuff. I, I've done two Gore Plays that were mainly streams that I put on my Gore Plays account, uh, both Knack and Contrast. So, uh, for the most part, the PS4 is a great console. Right now, game-wise, there's not a huge selection. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting it right this second. Like, I don't think you need to rush out to get it. But if you're one of those guys that, hey, you just want to buy it right now... So when, you know, one or two of the big games come to, comes out, you have the PS4. You want to show it off to friends or something. It's a great console. It truly is. It's a fantastic one. And it's easy to understand where everything is. Everything is laid out perfectly. Uh, everything that you have there, all the games, even though not amazing, are still a lot of fun. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. I, the share feature is really cool. The touchscreen implementation, uh, implementation is uh, really cool. Um, I don't have the eye camera or whatever the hell it's called. But uh, I'm, I, I heard it's pretty good. I'm not sure about that, though. But uh, overall, I think the PlayStation 4 is a damn good console. If I had to give it a score right now, I would give it a... Uh, I would probably give it, out of my scoring system for video games, i do a 0 to 5. Uh, you know what? I'll just flash the score right here because... There you go. That's what I'll give it right there. So uh, that's my review for the PlayStation 4. It is a great console. Definitely worth your time. Now, let's go and talk about some PS4 games. Thank you and goodbye.